Every Zangief player has a strong desire to take their opponent for a spin. The only issue is that the input for this can be pretty rough. I mean, the game wants us to literally input a full 360, and if that wasn't bad enough, our level 3 super is twice as bad with a 720. So how can we perform this consistently? Well, there's two situations to be aware of. First, we have our SPD in neutral, which is when we're not dashing or pressing any buttons. This is the hardest one to perform because most of the time when you go for the 360 input, you'll jump instead. The trick to avoiding this jump is to use a shortcut. Instead of performing a full 360 circular motion, we can actually cut the last two inputs out. My recommendations here are to either start from back to up forward or forward to up back. Forward to up back motion will provide you the safest option in case you miss the timing. You'll instead jump back away from the opponent. I switch between the two during my matches, depending on whether I'm going in heavy on the offense or trying to play safer and more reserved. A key note to remember is that SPD only requires you to meet the four primary inputs of back, down, forward, and up. As long as you meet all four, you can miss some diagonal inputs here or there and still get your SPD. Up forward and up back diagonal inputs can count for the up primary input. So in order to properly get your SPD to come out in neutral, you'll have to be sure to press your punch button at the same time as your up forward or up back input. This will cause an SPD to come out instead of a jump. Remember, your choices for SPD will be light punch for the most range and least damage. medium punch for a little less range but more damage heavy punch for the least range but more damage than medium and overdrive using two punch buttons at the same time for the range of the medium and the most damage of all the throws The second situation for you to be aware of is buffering your SPD. Buffering is when you press your inputs during the recovery of an action. This could be an attack, dashing forward or back, jumping, parry, or even drive rush. This will be the easiest one to use since it's much more lenient with the time we have to input our 360. For buffers, I always recommend starting with up and going in the direction of your choice for the rest. This will prevent you from jumping in case you're a little late with your punch button. Best part is, during a buffer, all the movement inputs will be detected for your special moves without you moving. Extra piece of advice will be to turn on your frame meter in the screen display settings of the training mode. If the move you're buffering out of is plus on your frame advantage, you may have to delay the SPD input slightly so that it catches them as soon as it's able to. If you go too fast, the SPD will sometimes miss completely. It's good for you to experiment with different moves on both hit and block to learn your different buffer timings for SPD. Some key moves to start with will be forward heavy punch for your headbutt, standing light kick, crouching light kick, light punch, and forward medium kick for your knee. Try setting the training dummy to block all as well so that you can train your buffers on block and on hit. Do note, you'll have different frame advantage on block, normal hit, counter hit, punish counter, and drive rush attacks. You'll also even have an additional plus four frame advantage on block when your opponent runs out of drive gauge. Be sure to check out all your options by changing your training settings. Air SPD will follow in a similar fashion to our regular SPD. Same rules for the primary directional inputs and being able to cut the inputs short. I have two recommended ways of performing Air SPD in combos. The first one will be to hold up forward and then proceed to perform your Air SPD. You use this if your opponent is left floating in the air for an extended period of time or if you're trying to catch them in the air. The second method will be used for tight combos where we need to land this throw immediately. To do this, 
You'll start with a back input and proceed through the circular motion, ending it out forward with two kick buttons for the overdrive variant. For combos, remember to use the overdrive version as in most cases, your normal air throw will not connect. And finally, we're at the infamous Zangief level 3, the 720 that can sometimes feel impossible to perform. To tell you the truth, trying to perform Zangief's level 3 with classic controls without a move to buffer it from is extremely difficult. The game intends for you to buffer the level 3 out of another of your moves. Just like how we would buffer our regular SPD, we can instead perform our 720 input with a punch button to get a level 3. It follows the same rules as the SPD where if you had too much frame advantage, the throw will miss. So remember to delay it for these scenarios. Zangief's level 3 is very powerful and will absolutely win you some rounds. I hope I was able to help you to better understand how to land the almighty screw pile driver. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to see more fighting game content in the future, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your training.